Hello. I've said this before, but spring has sprung. <laughs> there are leaves, not just buds now. The woodland anemones are everywhere, just carpeted. I can even see a few bluebells coming up. So it is beautiful and peaceful out here. And warmer than it has been as well. The last few days it's been quite sunny, though tonight I think we're getting some rain. Um, just gonna set up my truck tent, the roof tent, and uh, get all that sorted. And yeah, spend the night out here. It's still weird how many aeroplanes there are now, how used to them not being there you get. Just getting out the fire pit, which is a part of my kind of truck setup. got with me my normal front runner lights which I'm sure you've seen before if you've seen my videos before just like a waterproof strip light with USB on the end but I've got this new one I've had a little while but not used um, solar it's a battery power bank as well and you just pop it open and you've got kind of string lights so I'm gonna see how I can get both of these going together
And do they work? Yes, they do. Right, I've got this GoFort um, power bank. I don't think I've done a video on this yet. It's an inverter as well, and it's got a light on the back, which is pretty bright. I've used it on a couple of trips. It might be the first time on camera. I'm just going to use the USB of this to power these lights and for charging things. If you saw my video last week, you'll remember this Nomad uh, smoker grill um, that I used. So I'm going to be using it today and um, going to be doing some ribs and probably some pork belly as well, I think. Just going to get some charcoal lit. going to use these lighters that come with the grill. And because this is kind of insulated, double walled, the um, tailgate doesn't get too hot. The tent might smell of charcoal though. As you can probably tell, I'm set up right opposite my wood store here. It's a nice flat spot. Um, to be honest, it's a little crowded up here with wood poles and stuff, so I probably should have gone further down near the stream where there's another flat spot, but you know, it's easy for me to get wood, even though there is some in the back from my trip last week. Um, oh, yeah, just waiting for that charcoal to burn down, um, then I'll uh, get the ribs and that on because that's going to take a few hours and uh, finish getting set up and just enjoy the day. Sun's not really out but it is beautiful. This is the first time I've been up here with um, all of the leaves out which is lovely. I uh, also think I'll take some time later after a year and a half of um, is it a year and a half or two years of having this roof tent and go over some pros and cons and kind of what it means to do in the UK. You can hear my charcoal crackling away. <laughs> so yeah I'll have a little talk about that with you guys a bit later. Yeah, just enjoy being out. Well, I've already cut myself trimming up the pork belly. Great start. But uh, I'm just going to slather these with some mustard sauce. And flip them over. Oh, I've not taken the uh, membrane off the ribs. I'll do that first. Take the membrane off, you can use like a well, charcoal's going for it. To take the membrane off, you can use like a butter knife or a spoon just to get it started, and then like a uh, paper towel or something to grip it. I'll try and do it with just my hands. There we go, that's most of it. Just uh, takes that chewy layer off and lets the flavours penetrate a bit more in the smoke. Okay, that's slathered. I'm now going to use this dry rub. It's um, chipotle, paprika, cumin, onion and garlic powder, salt. Uh, and there's brown sugar in there as well. So I'm just going to liberally coat these. Get that rubbed in. And the same for the other side. Right, time to get them coals on. 
and I want them on one side. So put them all over here. Get some cherry wood on there. Get the grill on. see how these fit. I think, yeah, it should just about go. I'll swap them around in a bit. Get that closed down. Make sure my vents are open. And away we go smoking. Now as you can see we're already pretty hot, we're up in the smoking zone. So I'm probably going to close down the vents a bit. Just cut off that circulation. Time to get a brew on I think. just for me. Good to be all set up. Probably have to drop this down later on tonight if it's going to rain. Make sure I don't get any kind of pooling on there. Just a couple more bits and some wood prep, really. Um, yeah, these ribs are going to take a while. <laughs> Already feeling hungry from smelling them. Something a bit different, though. Um, I've got other food with me. I'll probably cook some potatoes or something to go with it on the uh, fire pit there. Ah. Let's have a quick little look. Cherry wood is smoking. Yeah, looking good. I'll swap these over in a bit.
just thought I'd open up the other vents, the other windows, get a bit of a panoramic view going on near the tent as it's not been used in a while. Another aeroplane. It is cosy up here, I don't think I've used this tent in six months. Must have been about October up on the field with Owen. It's good to get it in the woods. It's a nice setup. Nearly forgot to hang up my net. This cargo net. It's really handy for throwing things like your uh, boots in when you're getting in the tent. So you don't have to take muddy boots in. And it just attaches to the straps that hold the uh, tent down when it's in transit. Gonna open my first beer and it's a Beaver Town neck oil. I love these. Love it on tap as well. Not bad. Oh yes. Tonight is the well second night. Clocks changed yesterday of uh, getting dark later, and it's been a long time coming. Cheers, everyone. So much nicer when you've got a bit more time in the evening and uh, you don't have such a, a long night. Well, no, night's the same length, but we're gaining two minutes a day, I guess. <laughs> we're getting there. Mm. Now I'm going to use a bit of this beer in with my ribs, because I'm going to foil wrap them. Um, that's going to speed up the cooking time, and that first couple of hours is, is all you need to kind of get the smoke in there. I don't think it's kind of diminishing returns after that. Mm. Right, it's been over a couple of hours, so I'm going to open her up. Ooh, looking nice. And give them a wrap. Get it closed down for a minute. If I get my water out of the way, I'll be able to do this properly. Fold it over, this fold it over, and this fold it over. We can get some liquid in there. In this case, beer. I usually use apple juice with ribs. Get that wrap. Same with the pork belly. Right, it's starting to cool down a bit now. I've got a fire log on here just to help things along. Why not, eh? When you've got the truck.
just finishing off peeling some potatoes with the old open on and I'm gonna cube them up for parboiling and then frying Got this pot quite recently. It's quite a handy one, the handle flips round and you've got the lid and stuff. Time to get one of these grills on. When I use this fire pit, I quite often just use half a grill at a time, just so I can keep fire feeding the fire on the other side. Nice coals there. Dirty lid. I'll switch the grill and the fire now just to make sure I've got nice hot coals. So if I do this, I'll get the fire going over there, and we'll just put the grill on this side. the skillet. And back over to the tailgate, we've still got good heat. So oh, I'm gonna take these off or out of their foil just to finish them off. Ooh. Ribs pulling back. Nice. Get foil there. Ooh, that's hot. Sauce these up, just set that sauce on them, maybe get a little bit of a crust. Beautiful. did put a few more coals on here earlier. Not many at all really. It's very efficient. Close it back down till the potatoes are done. Got to keep them potatoes moving. Make sure they don't burn. They're already pretty done on one side from when I was playing around with the pork. Playing around with the pork.
Okay, I'm just going to add on a bit of pepper, a few chilli flakes, and of course some salt. Because they are nearly done. Nice and crispy. You can hear the owls going off. First up is our potatoes. Cling, 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 cling. Horrible noise. And then what I'm hoping to be ready. Oh, it does smell nice. That proper barbecue. Cut a couple off at a time here. Mm, things are all right. Four hours these were on, and that's about the time I do sort of baby back ribs, small racks of ribs. Oh, this, this is nice. This is, oh, look at that. Falling apart. I might actually cut those individually. Nice smoke ring. I'm impressed with this little smoker, although I think my clay smoker is feeling a bit neglected. <laughs> just wrap that. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's a faint smoke ring, but it's definitely a smoke ring. I've just put some wood on the fire, so it's getting a bit smoky. Mm. Potatoes are great. I've got to try this pork belly. It's like a jelly. It's lovely. Oh wow. Let's try that. Mmm. Oh, that is proper melt in the mouth. Right, should we go over rib? Mmm. We're falling off the bone with just a little tug. Mm. I'm impressed. I mean, you probably saw me last time do um, was it smoked chicken on it, which was just a test it because it doesn't take too long. But uh, yeah, this is the next step, sort of four hour cooks. I don't know about doing like a brisket or a pulled pork on it. Mmm. This is good. Put the coals from the uh, barbecue on the fire here, and it is baking now. It's lovely. Oh, mostly cleaned up after dinner. Really surprised how good that was. That was lovely. I mean, that thing's not cheap, the Nomad smoker, but kind of smokers and stuff, if you know Weathers and Big Green Eggs and stuff, um, none of them are. <laughs> but uh, that one is portable. You can just put it on a table or a tailgate. Excellent, if you do that kind of barbecuing. Hear a buzzard. Um, yeah, I was going to talk a bit about uh, roof tent camping, like here in the UK, really. This, which I've had I think nearly two years, uh, is my first. It's a Ventura Deluxe, it's a British company. They're um, over in Essex, um, and it's one of the more inexpensive ones. I've done a review over on the review channel if you want to see more about it, um, but it's held up very well. Uh, I have it on the truck all the time. I've not got room to store it so I just leave it on there um, which is also handy because 
and traveling and going here, there and everywhere. So if there's an emergency, I've always got that um, back at the truck. So I could just have to make my way back to the truck to get in it. Um, but yeah, these kind of tents are made for kind of overlanding. And so you see them in South Africa, Australia, um, America, Canada, places like these. And when I got it, I, or when I ordered it, I did want to travel with it. I wanted to um, drive up through Denmark to um, Sweden. But um, obviously the last couple of years that's not been possible. And here in the UK, unless you have places like I have to go to, it's um, maybe not the most practical. We don't have free land, crown land, right to roam. So uh, it's a bit difficult. You're looking at laybys and things like that if you don't have permission to be on land. And something like this isn't really suitable for that. Uh, that's why van camping is quite popular here now. Uh, that's better for you know going in a lay-by, a car park, um, in a quiet spot um, and being secure. Whereas you can't really get into the middle of nowhere. Um, I'm lucky to have access to different places. Uh, you see me in a few in this. Um, campsites you could do, but then if you're going to a campsite anyway, I mean I guess if you're kind of travelling around it's quick and it's not something you have to kind of pack away pack inside a vehicle but yeah it's um it's kind of a toss-up really um, if it fits in with what you want to do uh, but I've been loving it um, talking about the van camping it's something I've been considering uh, reason being traveling Wales Scotland things like that having a base camp like that to wash up and stuff like that um, have a comfortable night then get out have a camp, film a video, stuff like that, and especially with fuel how it is, um, have a longer trip, and just having that base camp to, um, you know, get a comfortable night's sleep, have a wash up, things like that, a good meal, uh, just a bit of comfort while you're away, rather than, you know, maybe staying in a hotel or something. So that's something I've been considering as well, but then even vehicles, second hand, are bleeding expensive at the moment. So, you know, it's something I've been kind of mulling over recently but yeah in my situation I've been loving it I've, I've always wanted one just it's really appealed to me having it on the truck I did want it on the old truck but obviously that died so it's gone on to the new one um, yeah uh, you do feel kind of secure up there I know there's not exactly lions prowling around here but uh, you do kind of feel secure up there it is kind of nice um, if you're in a particular location, you can get a good view and stuff as well. Um, yeah, it's nice to get up off the ground, have a built-in mattress as well, even though I sometimes put an inflatable on there as well, just for that extra comfort, because there's a lot of headroom in there. It's an awkward thing in the UK compared to a lot of countries, but, um, you know, if you have access to that kind of land, then it's good. I'm hoping to get access to a rather large piece of land to do some overlanding in, and some camping so that should be coming in the spring hopefully we shall see how it pans out maybe some off-roading with Simon as well in his Land Rover with his hammock in it maybe we could get down to the um, Salisbury Plains and do something like that or go on his video and tell him to do it <laughs> but uh, talking to Simon we are planning a big trip in the summer and uh, probably a smaller trip maybe down here or up his way uh, before that, uh, maybe in May, so there's them to look forward to as well, especially the big trip, I won't give away too much.
good morning. Oh, pretty good sleep. I woke up half six and it was getting light and uh, I felt wide awake. I thought, well, I'll get another half hour or so. Half seven, the alarm went off. <laughs> I felt knackered. <laughs> um, looks like it could rain, but it hasn't done yet other than a few little specks in the uh, night, about three o'clock, something like that. Um, which makes me think I might put the roof tent away while it's dry. Uh, leave the awning out in case it rains and have some breakfast. But yeah, a little bit nippy, a little bit nippy. Get this fire started using one of these fire pucks. Might as well use the whole thing there. Are we lighting? A few twigs, but I've got a fire log in there as well. Make life easy again. I'm just going to use my fire anchor for cooking breakfast. This works pretty well with a fire pit because I can adjust the heights of things and dangle things over there rather than just relying on the grill at the grill height. Well, I may as well have some fried potatoes again with breakfast. Something a bit starchy to go with the meats. Okay, it's showtime. Oil the pan, nice and good. First up, some potatoes. And some nice Cumberland sausages. That we've got a nice piece of black pudding. Get that K 
kettle on. Get some bacon in here. So it's time for the egg. Okay, so first up, sausages, bacons, oh, these potatoes look good. Black pudding, which is stuck a little, not too bad. Make a little room. Egg. And of course, nice cup of tea. don't know where to start. I could have sat at my table, couldn't I, really? Nice in front of the fire, though. Oh, nice runny yolk. Mm. A little bit of barbecue sauce. Mm. Black pudding. An egg yolk, two of the greatest things that go together. Thank you guys very much for watching. That was a lovely little overnighter, nice and comfortable, not too cold, leaves on the trees, lovely, some nice grub. I'll see you next time, goodbye.